Today in this lecture, we are going to talk about importance of endothelial derived nitric oxide in maintaining renal blood flow and preventing high blood pressure. So far, we have been talking about the determinants of renal blood flow and dif different factors which affect the renal blood flow. So far, we have discussed sympathetic nervous system, norepinephrine, epinephrine, endothelin and angiotensin. And we discussed that almost all of these factors, the sympathetic system, norepinephrine, epinephrine, angiotensin and endothelin, they constrict the renal vasculature, especially the afferent arteriole here and the efferent arteriole here. Now, we discussed that when the afferent and the efferent arterioles get constricted, it may increase or decrease the filtration process. It may increase or decrease the GFR. With angiotensin 2, we discussed that angiotensin 2 preferably constrict the efferent arteriole and it basically try to maintain the GFR by increasing the GFR. But the sympathetic system, the norepinephrine, epinephrine, they constrict both the afferent and efferent arteriole and they decrease the renal blood flow and GFR. Now, endothelial derived nitric oxide, it is a factor it is a factor which basically maintain the vasodilation. It prevents the it prevents the constriction of the afferent arteriole and the efferent arteriole, and they help in the normal absorption. <clears throat> they help in the normal excretion of sodium and water through filtration. Because we have discussed so many times that when filtration occur in the glomerular capillaries, the filtrate moves into the Bowman's capsule and the nephron tubules, and basically start the urine formation process. Now. For this process to occur normally, there is a basal secretion of the endothelial derived nitric oxide. And this endothelial derived nitric oxide, it occurs throughout the human body and the, the cell, the endothelial cells which are present just inside the blood vessels, they release the nitric oxides. That's why it is known as the endothelial derived nitric oxide and it maintains, it maintains the dilation of the blood vessels, especially the afferent arteriole or the efferent arteriole the afferent arteriole and the efferent arteriole. So, the nitric oxide is important for the filtration and excretion of sodium and water. Now, if this secretion of nitric oxide gets disturbed or the, it cannot uh, do its action, for example, the drugs which stop the action of nitric oxide, it will basically lead to constriction of the afferent arteriole, efferent arteriole and the normal excretion of sodium and water in the filtration process, it will decrease. So what happens is the sodium and water remain in the body and due to increased amount of sodium and water in the body, somehow the blood pressure increases and patients become hypertensive. Now, the exact mechanism of high blood pressure in most of the people is not known. Like around more than 90% of the people who have high blood pressure, they do not have a cause for the high blood pressure. But it has been hypothesized that the nitric oxide, at the basal release of nitric oxide, which play an important role in the vasodilation of the blood vessel, especially the afferent and efferent arteriole, is important in the normal excretion for the normal functions of the kidney, so that the kidney, uh, the sodium and the water get excreted normally. And, and it has been seen in most of the people with no other abnormality and having high blood pressure, their nitric oxide levels are low. So. It may have, it may have uh, an effect in increasing the high blood pressure and hypertension. So, the, the, the effect of the nitric oxide is to maintain the blood vessel and to help in the normal excretion of sodium uh, and water. Thanks a lot for watching the video.